Hi everyone, welcome to Battles of the Enchanted Part 2. Now, before I get into anything else, I just wanted to uh, let you all know that this was intended to be live commentary all the way through, but during the editing stages, um, I realised that the video recording and audio recording didn't quite match up, so some parts I had to record after I'd finished editing the video. With that said, let's get started. Okay, so first jewel of the night. What do we have here? Pyromancy Flame. What's that gold tracer? Looks like they're wearing the same armor I am. Just without the thief mask. Alright. I don't think this one should be too difficult. Yep, there's a black iron gauntlets as well by the looks of things. Using pyromancy a lot less than I was expecting them to. Okay. Looks like a good start for the night. Alright, I'm just waiting for another invasion to happen. Yeah, someone's on their way now. Yeah, for some reason, I don't really, yeah, get as many invasions here as I'd like to be able to, well, just not as frequently. I always end up waiting a good few minutes or so between each invasion. Sometimes longer. Here, oh, we've got someone now. Obsidian Greatsword. Is that a Black Knight Shield? Or a silver knight shield. Looks like a silver knight shield. Over already? Are you kidding? Oh, well. <laughs> wasn't much of a jewel. I'll take the window. Alright, so they finally managed to make it. Just uh, using an obsidian great sword for this one. Something a little bit different from all the enchanted weapons that I have. And uh, looking at him now, fair few pieces of giant armor, black iron helm, I think, and a falcon. So they've got a ton of poise. Uh, maybe a great sword wasn't the best choice here. And an aveline. All right, I need to watch out for that one. to make. Okay, I need to do something here. 
Let's see if I can catch him with this. Oh, I was expecting him to be knocked over by that. That's too bad. That's a good jewel though. I wonder if this is the same guy as before. It is too. Alright. I think I have to switch my equipment up a little bit. And great sword's just too slow. Uh, I think I'll go with the air stock on this one. Yeah, he's already here. Alright then. See how I do this time. I wonder if he's happy to see me again. Well, judging by the poo flinging, he's not. He seems to be uh, being a little bit more careful with his Falcon combos this time. This will be a close one, I think. Got him. That was a good duel. Now we're even. So here we go again. Let's see what we got. Looks like he's got a gold tracer and a blood shield there. And the dark wood grain ring. Not as aggressive as what I was expecting. I have no idea what I was doing there. Yeah, don't worry mate, I'm not going to try and heal. Well, he seems to be pretty smart with his combos. He's not R1 spamming. Probably out of fear that he'll uh, get parried. He's a hard one to hit. Not making it easy for me. I'll see if switching between locking on and locking off will help at all. Home in Soul Mast didn't really put him on edge at all. I'm just trying to get him to slip up. But it just doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. Right, let's try again. Yeah, managed it that time. Oh, that wasn't easy. Alright, so back at it again. So this guy's using a grey sinks. Could be a golem X. Doesn't want to bail. Ah oh, no, he's just changing his equipment, that's why. Should 
dual wielding grace axes. It's an interesting choice. Doesn't make for the most agile of builds. on those things isn't the best to uh him again. I never summoned him. Ah, uh, there he is. Good that he came along. We've won one each so far. Let's see uh, how the decider goes. So Dark Soul the Tracer. Ah, that was brutal. Great club. Yeah, looks like it. No. Uh, I see what they have. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that. Save myself uh, comments from the grammar Nazis. the rivers and we're dead. <laughs> that was class. That was good though. Is that uh, who I think it is? It is. It's this guy again. Oh, he wants another dark bead dinner. Alright. <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> that was the best you all have had all night. <laughs> of the Enchanted Part 2. If you've been following this PvP series so far, you'll have seen a variety of Enchanted Plus 5 weapons. Now I did recently acquire 5 blue slabs, 
four of them I've already worked out what I'm gonna use them on. But with the fifth I'm not I'm undecided at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll leave it up to you. Leave a comment on which weapon you'd like to see me use as an enchanted plus five and I'll put that in as a jewel for part three of Battles of the Enchanted. Obviously I'd prefer not to be using an enchanted straight sword hilt, but uh, I might consider using an enchanted broken straight sword. That's not quite as ridiculous. Yeah, so don't forget to leave a comment on which weapon you'd like to see, whichever one is the most popular. I'll get around to putting that one in to part three, which I will be recording over the next couple of days. So I'll give it about a week for the comments, and I'll just go and record the final jewel to tack onto the end of the rest of the video before I upload it. Alright then, that's me out. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you found some parts of this just as funny as I did. Until next time. <laughs>